Here we are at a place called Two Rocks, which is the northernmost boundary of Perth's metropolitan sprawl, urban sprawl if you like. But if people had their way, the sprawl would go much further north into this pristine environment you can see here. And as you'll find out in this very short video over the next three minutes, the experts will tell you why this very delicate ecosystem could be totally destroyed if the developers have their way. If we make a corridor from the metropolitan area through to Moore River, those corridors which the birds were using, the animals were using, the breeding in, they're gone forever. Welcome to the wonderful Moore River estuary, a pristine confluence of freshwater river and Indian Ocean. Nestled on the north side of the river is the small township of Gilderton, home to just 70 permanent residents but swelling in the holiday seasons. The community is proud that Gilderton was recently awarded Australia's cleanest beach, but ominous times are looming if developers gain approval for a project for up to 6,000 people. The biggest issue for us would now be, let's go five years ahead and the development's happened. How would it change your opinion of this place and your way of life living here? It would definitely change our view to the place because we've come here because we like the quietness of the area. We like the fact that we're surrounded by this beautiful, pristine um, coastal savanna on the other side. We've got agricultural land behind us. To be living basically in the suburbs is not what we origi you know, originally bought the property for. The proposed development site already has threatened ecological communities of Banksia and a myriad of bird life, including the beautiful short-billed black cockatoo. This is where the beautiful Moore River meets the Indian Ocean and a beautiful ecosystem. Kids are having fun, families are enjoying the day out. We're going to find out now from the experts how a development proposed for this area and the impact it will have, we're going to find out right now. There are no roads, there is no electricity, power, water, sewerage that's going to cause a major difference and this beautiful river is eventually going to become a drain. And going back to the uh, short billed black cockatoo, yes. apparently there's up to 15,000 of these beautiful birds living in this precinct. What effect would the uh, proposed development have on their colony? Well the short billed black cockatoo lives traditionally in Noongar land which stretches from a little bit further north of here up towards Geraldton and diagonally across the southwestern corner of West Australia through Kalgoorlie towards Albany. These are a significant, very unique species, not too dissimilar to the black swans. If you take away their habitat, you take away their breeding grounds and the places they go foraging, they will disappear and they'll go like the southern brown bandicoot and they'll probably disappear forever. Now, what brings you guys up to Moore River? Just a holiday out with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> to get away from the city and to enjoy each other's company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds good enough. It's almost become traditional for us to come here. We've been coming here every year, just the same group of friends. And yeah. it's a nice get away just from our current lives. You know, take yeah. a bit of a break. It's good, relaxing. Yeah. How, how would you describe the natural environment here? It's pretty pristine. Mm. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's very well kept yeah. and mm. looked after. Yeah. It's something to I mean, definitely most people, admire. Most people that come here respect it, so it's yeah. not too much in the way of glitter or anything. Yeah. The river's not that polluted, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody um, wants to have, live in a nice house, you know, with like water views, sea views and all that stuff. But what cost, do you think? I mean, well, they won't have the good view. If they'll, they'll be looking onto houses and they'll yeah. be looking onto yeah. a yeah. river that's not as good. I mean, they've developed all the way up the coast already, like... How much plenty of coastal need? homes, exactly. <laughs> How far north do they want to go? Like. Yeah. The Friends of Moore River group insist its intention is not to lock the area away, rather to see any future use as protective of nature and sustainability.